I don't like palms that are super, super smooth because they just look like they've been scissored. I'd rather have a dog that looks like he grew this way. So here again, the thinning shears are wonderful because I'm just tipping it and they're just the right, sorry, the curved shears, just the right amount of curve to make it a nice smooth cut. Okay, let's see, where were we? Let's talk about the front leg feathers, furnishings, whatever. This, you have to be careful. You want it shorter here and longer there. But don't take much off the first time because you have to see what it looks like when he stands there. So, and you want this to blend nicely into his body. Again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. It's just something you have to go back to and look at. Now, right here, this is where confirmation comes in and you, you really want to do the dog justice. This little guy isn't narrow, but he's not wide either. So in that case, it's a good idea to go up the leg and take out some of this, being really careful that it's not noticeable. So you just take a little out. You can use curved or straight. Just keep looking at it. Look at it from the side. I end up going over this particular area over and over and over again to get it right. I pick up his little arm, pick, cut off all the little fuzzies. I don't go into the dense stuff except if it just really is extreme. Okay, last two things we'll do. We'll demonstrate how you trim the rough. In, in the beginning, at the bottom here, we're going to trim across, see? Like this, across. A little at a time. Again, I'm not going to do the whole thing for you. I'll just show you the end result. A little at a time. Put your head up, sweetheart. Nice and cooperative. Touche, good boy. A little at a time, across. You can always take more. Don't take too much. Okay. Up, put your head up, sweetheart. Put your head up. What we want to do is we want this dog to have a gorgeous ruff, but we don't want him to look long. If you look at him from the side, pretty much how people see palms is from the anus to the chest, okay? I know there's a head and tail there. I realize that. But what people are mostly looking at, their eye, your eye goes from the anus to the chest. See if I can have him properly lined up. So if you have too much here, and some people get oh, really, really butcher this, I don't like that. I don't want to look at a dog and go, wow, look at that trim. I want to look at a dog and say, God, what a gorgeous dog. And I like to leave, if they have a pretty coat, I like to leave lots of coat on them. So I do need to shorten this because it makes him look long and, and he is very short, very cobby, very beautiful short back, high tail set. So we just want to say, hey, look at me. I'm really great. I'm really short back. And I'm so short back that I don't even have to fake you out with a super short chest. Okay, now when you get to the rough, and again, I'm not doing this as perfectly as if it was just me doing it, not demonstrating for you. When you get to the rough, you're going to change the position of the scissors. I don't want you to do this anymore because that's going to leave more of a cut and it's going to be more obvious. So this blends the cut more and you're going to leave the rough bigger. I think the rule of thumb is the rough comes to the end of the nose, but it could come a little longer if you've got a really pretty coat and a flashy dog. Let's see, I think we might have to lift up a little bit here. And when you get to the top of the head, I like to leave a kind of, especially with a coat like this, kind of wild and crazy thing going on up there with a coat like this. Like, if you had a bitch, she didn't have much coat here, you wouldn't want to do that. Oh, I mean, I'll take some of it off. I don't want it to look messy. But I, I really prefer more of a natural look in my palms. 
So again, we're cutting this way. Mindful of your your dog's eye. This dog's very, very well behaved. I insist by gentle but firm persuasion that all my dogs get used to being groomed in whatever I do to them, whatever position I put them in. We're just like, okay, mom, whatever. Okay, okay. I don't put up with little guys that want to sit down every two seconds and they won't let you put pick their little tail up to lift their rear end gently. If I put their foot somewhere, I expect them to keep it there. So this gives you an idea how to trim the rough. Be careful on the top here, and some dogs have almost no coat here. So if this is long and this is short, it looks, looks pretty bad. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to trim the ear tips. Another bugaboo. I buy the tiniest scissors I can find. These are very short. You see, I have big hands, but they're very tiny. And the reason for that is you're less likely to chop an ear tip off, but you want a tight, short ear. Brush the ear a little bit. And the way you're not going to ever hurt your dog's ear is you're going to feel the leather. See, I can take my fingernail and boom, all of a sudden there's no more leather. It's just hair. So I'm going to put my finger there to mark that. And then these scissors are not very strong. I use the tips and then I just gently cut. So I am right at the leather and I didn't cut it. And if I started to cut into it, if, I, if something doesn't cut easily, then I just stop. I just stop. And you want to curve it. You don't cut them straight across. You make a nice, sweet, gentle curve. Okay. I didn't do that great on that one. Sorry. I got a little closer than I should have. You don't want to expose the tip. You want to disguise it. So, once again... I start off by just gently taking the tip off, then take those corners off. Now, if this dog has, he won't do it, but he has like a gorgeous ear set. They're really way up high. In fact, they're so high that he has a poof of hair that just shot up there. You need to know where their ears are going to be when you're trimming the rough. So I can just take the tips off, but if you had a dog with an ear set more like this, out to the side, then you'd want to take more off the edge so it looked like the ear tip wasn't in the middle. The high point would be here. Okay, just a, a little hint to make your doggy look better. Okay, next time you see him, he'll be all finished. Okay, another little trick I like to use it's my little hygiene trick for boys. We all know boys have that icky little wet spot on their tummy. And oh, you can't shave their belly because they need all that coat. But really, you can just make a little triangle by the sheet like this. And you can take it up a ways. I mean, no judge I've ever seen has ever lifted up the dog. I'm using a 10 blade like real carefully because it's easy to burn palm bellies because they're not used to getting trimmed. So you just a little, little clean spot there. Oh, it makes life so much better. You can even go back by the testicles a little bit if you want. Just be careful to keep it like that, like a strip. Okay, here's Touche. After we're finished, is it perfect? No. Does he look great? Yes. Does he look natural? Well, I think so. I went over him and I got all those long guard hairs, and there's probably a few more. I can get some of them at the show. I just want to show you what he looks like on the table. Then I'm going to put him on the floor. He's not going to put his tail up because he's being a stinker, but we are real short-backed. Very short-backed. And he actually has a good tail set when he's not in a bad mood. He just decided he's done with the grooming table because he's got a little female in the next room he wants to go have a discussion with about 
about breeding. So this gives you a good idea. Let me whack a comb through that real quick. You have to have a dog that holds still. You have to have a dog you can comb. You need a dog that when you're doing this, he's standing up. Does he want to sit down? Yeah, he wants to get off the table, but he's going to stand up. So let's put him on the floor. That's the proof of the pudding when the dog is running around on the floor. Okay, Tooch. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. <laughs>